You know, I do remember when I was in grad school, <clears throat> I had to I had to take all these plant botany courses. And you might have heard me talk about this because I hated plant botany courses, but you have to take them. You're getting a human biology degree, but they make you take all these courses on plants. And I'll never forget that whenever anything was wrong in the leaf or the trunk or uh, the branches of a tree, if you were to actually call a true botanist, a true arborist out to your house and you had a palm leaf that was decaying, they wouldn't touch the leaf. The first thing they would do is they would core test the soil. And they would core test the soil and they would look for nutrient deficiencies. And they would say, you know what? There's no nitrogen in the soil. And then they would add nitrogen to the soil and the leaf would thrive. Only we've stopped thinking about human beings this way. As soon as something goes wrong in a human being, we immediately go to chemicals and synthetics and pharmaceuticals. We immediately think that the solution is found in a chemical laboratory and not found within us. We've lost faith in humanity and mankind. We've lost faith in the body's ability to heal itself and heal the environment around us. Well, now science is catching up and the science is dictating otherwise. The science says when you find the missing raw material in a human body and you put that material back in, it begins to thrive in ways we never imagined possible.